Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about angles in parallel lines, in particular co-interior angles. So when we're talking about angles in parallel lines, what we mean is we've got one pair of parallel lines, which we draw with arrows on, as you can see here, and then we've got another line in that comes and crosses those parallel lines. And at the points where it crosses the parallel lines, there are angles around those points, and I've shown them in blue here. And this is what we're talking about when we're discussing angles in parallel lines. So what are co-interior angles? Well, here's a pair of co-interior angles here. I've shown them in blue, and these angles, this pair of angles, are called co-interior angles. A common way that's taught to spot co-interior angles is to look for a C shape that's made by the lines. And the co-interior angles are the angles inside the C shape. So you can see I've drawn in red here the outline of the C shape. And the angles inside it are the co-interior angles. You can also have a backwards shape C. And the angles inside this are also co-interior angles. So the two angles in blue here are also co-interior angles. Once you know how to find co-interior angles, then you need to know the angle rule, which is that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So if you've got a pair of co-interior angles and you add the size of them together, you will always get 180 degrees. Let's look at how we can use this angle rule to solve a problem. So here I've got two co-interior angles. One's 45 degrees and another one is currently unknown and I've called this angle X. Well, we know that co-interior angles must add up to 180 degrees. So 45 add X must be 180. So X must be 135 degrees. That was angles in parallel lines, co-interior angles. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.